What is education? Education starts very early and continues throughout life. From birth to death. Birth to death. Education is the total of all your experiences, both real and imaginary. In fact, life itself is education. You know, I got straight A's in high school. I think you're exaggerating. I was never someone who liked to go to school. To me, back then, learning was more of a game. This ain't no game! When I was a kid, I did love learning. I was obsessed with science. I watched, like, PBS for fun. But I didn't necessarily love learning things that I was told to learn. Why are you interested in some subjects and not in others? I never enjoyed, like, being forced to learn math, you know? You must answer these questions if you really wish to get acquainted with yourself. I love the pursuit of knowledge, but I only like the pursuit of knowledge when it's knowledge that I want. That I want. Dun, 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 dun. In life, you have many opportunities to improve yourself. Are you making the most of them? I think that in order to grow in life, you need to be constantly learning. The learning should never stop, especially if you feel stuck in life. I feel like the best way to get unstuck and get more motivation is to learn something new. I am currently learning how to play the cook. I recently learned how to cook proper barbecue. I started learning English by myself. I only had a book and some dictionaries that help. I recently learned how to make hummus. One thing I recently learned to do was make a flamethrower by chemical reaction. Now I'm obsessed. Hey everyone, we're gonna do a chemical reaction test and here we go. I was talking to my mom one day and she mentioned decoupage and I was like, oh, okay, what's that? Decoupage. Decoupage is the art of decorating objects with paper cutouts while coating them with a shit ton of glue, lacquer, or varnish. You think you're smart, don't you? So I just researched the ever-living crap out of it, and eventually I felt confident that, like, I could do this thing. It's not that difficult, right? I wanted to create a custom vinyl records end table. <laughs> so I just started on it. These are all DVD covers, Blu-ray covers, and then I just used this, like, glue and painted. I know this is all copyrighted material, so you can't really use it in any cuts. It's hard, like, laying on the ground and painting inside of a cabinet. <laughs> but uh, I, I did it, and I did it without guidance. I just freaking owned it. So I bought a book on editing before I started doing it, because I thought, fine, I'm going to read this book. I'm going to get everything down before I actually start pushing buttons. And I got about three chapters in before I was like, I'm just going to get the computer, get the program, and start pushing buttons randomly. We all realize that interests change frequently. But if the interest is strong and is based upon some real ability or accomplishment, it will grow. Am I, am I good at it now? Am I good at it now? I'm struggling because I'm a newbie at this. Uh... <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> I have a long way to go and a lot to learn. But that's how I like learning, is to do things and to mess it up and then sort of go back and figure out how to make it better. I think I make the best hummus in the world, in fact. I don't say I'm the best, but I want to be the best. It is well to get clearly in mind that each one of you can do several things successfully. It's important to learn every day about who you are and what you're capable of. And you've got to be open-minded to the idea that this isn't all you're ever going to be. You can be more. You can do more.